Hey guys, this is Joe from the Rhinestone World, and today I'm going to show you how to do a three-color foil design with a distressed effect on a black women's uh, J America glitter tee. So what we're going to do is actually take our cuttable adhesive here from Caesar, and we're just going to tack this onto the shirt to transfer the glue on there, and the glue is what's going to hold our three different colors of foil. So first I'll take this at about 305 degrees, medium to firm pressure, and I'll line up this, uh, this transfer right across the chest there. I'm going to come down and press this, again, 305 degrees, two seconds. I'll pull that up. And now I'm just simply going to peel the carrier and it's going to leave the glue behind on that shirt. So after we've pulled this carrier off, we're ready to take our first color. Since this is going to be a distressed shirt, what we're going to do is actually take our foil strip that we have prepared here and crumple it up into a ball. What that's doing is creating all of these cracks and crevices in the foil that aren't going to actually adhere to the glue, and it's going to leave space for the other colors to go and fill in all those slots. So the more you crimple this, uh, this foil, the more it's going to have these cracks and these voids in the design to fill in with more color. So kind of use... Uh, whatever your judgment is on, on making sure that you can create all these cracks. So when I unfold this, it's going to look kind of like balled up tin foil, and we're just going to flatten it out just like that, put it right across this design. Now we're going to press this for about 10 seconds this time. And since this is foil, when we pull it up, we want to actually let it cool off first. So I'm going to take this off of the heat press, put it to the side, and now we're going to let it cool down for about maybe 20 to 30 seconds. All right, so now we're cooled off, and we want to take this shirt and, uh, and just basically peel the foil off. Now, when you're normally peeling foil off of a shirt, it's going to come off real smooth. When you're doing a distressed design, it will have that habit to kind of stick down onto that glue. Uh, so we want to be careful that we're not leaving any bits of the carrier sheet of the foil on top of the shirt when we peel it. So just by simply kind of ripping it off right there, We'll pull that entire sheet off, and you'll see where it pulled the silver and left behind all those gaps. So if I bring this in real close, you can see all those different cracks in the design. Those are actually going to fill in all with the different colors that we're using on top of this. So I can bring this straight back to the press. Now we're going to take our second color. Since we're doing a total of three colors for the second color, we're actually going to crumple this one as well. So this is just a, uh, a teal color that we have here. Same kind of foil. This is all TRW Magic Foil, and we use a Caesar Easyweed adhesive uh, for the glue that's going to hold the foil. There are three different types of foil that we carry. There's the colored magic foil, there's the specialty magic foil, and also the holographic foil. All of them have their specific uses. So for this one, again, we're just crumpling it up the same way and unfolding it. Now we've got our distressed teal. Now we're going to put that, flatten it out, put it right over top of the silver. Now we don't need to do anything else here besides just press it because there's still going to be some glue exposed that's going to heat up and activate to catch that second color. So we'll go down and press this again for 10 seconds. And we're going to let this cool off again because the second color is cold peel as well. So we're just going to wait 30 to 40 seconds there. Make sure it's all cool and that we have uh, our second color filled in properly with still some gaps to fill in with that third color to finish it off. So we're all cooled down now, so I'll go ahead and peel off the, uh, the carrier on this one. Now that one peels off pretty cleanly, and you'll see that it kind of works all the teal into the inside of that silver. So you can see um, kind of how easily you can make a creative design. It's always going to look kind of neat like this. It's not going to be too splotchy if you're properly crinkly in your foil. So now we're ready to come over and do our final color on this. This is going to be the third press on this shirt. We don't need to add any more adhesive along with the process. We're just going to take, simply take our third color, which is this right here, and we're going to lay it right over top, not crinkling this one, because we want it to fill in all those gaps. We don't want any more gaps in here. So one final press for 10 seconds. And again, we'll let that cool down because it's a cold peel. Now that this is cool to the touch, we're going to peel our third color off of here, and it's going to complete our shirt. So just by pulling that third color, it's going to factor in that purplish shine into our design that already has the silver and the teal in there. So now we've got a nice creative blend of colors that isn't something that's easily recreated on screen print or any other uh, method of decorating. This is going to be a nice reflective way 
that you can show off whatever local school colors you might have, uh, any of your favorite color combinations, or just any creative idea that you have in general. Uh, you can utilize all different colors that you typically normally wouldn't use and create something unique that someone else isn't going to be able to recreate. Additionally, that's a very cost-effective way to decorate. So you could take all these different colors and even reuse certain pieces that haven't pulled the foil. Um, some of these pieces are still good to use if you're doing more distressed designs or if you just have loose scraps from your other pieces. Uh, so again, the goal of foil is to be as creative as possible, to be able to um, make unique objects that no one else is going to be able to do, and also have fun with it too. So that's a three color design we have there. This is a TRW design from the rhinestone world, and uh, have a great day guys. Let us know if you have any questions about foil products, the TRW Magic Foil, the cuttable adhesive views, or anything else in general with designing.